Hello, and welcome to Spiritual Awakenings with Linda Minner. What are you grateful for? There's so many things to give thanks for. It's been a beautiful spring day today, and we'll be entering into summer soon. But as I think about how we're being called to share our gratitude with others, the Bible talks about giving thanks at all in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And I started thinking about all the things that I'm thankful for. You know, we often are thankful for family and friends and food, fellowship, a store to go buy things from. But how about our senses? I'm here in a beautiful front yard and hearing the sounds of the birds sing. Maybe you can hear them on the video too. The sun is shining brightly and there's a cool, crisp breeze but it's lovely outdoors. Maybe you're inside your home or nursing home or hospital listening to this. I wish you peace. I wish you good well. I wish you well and good health. I want to share with you about senses. I remember back in the 1990s when I had to um, have uh, my thyroid looked at and thankfully, it was not cancer, it wasn't dangerous, but there was a cyst there that they had to remove. And you know, my throat was so sore after the surgery. Have you ever had surgery before? And you know, if you're intubated, if they have to put a tube down your throat, or they have to do any work in your sinuses, your face, anywhere in your body perhaps, um, your throat may be sore afterwards from um, the, the tube that they have to use or Maybe they put a needle in your arm to sedate you. So all these things make us uncomfortable. So after surgery, after we've gone through the recovery phase and we're far better than we were before, give thanks because we are grateful to be healthy and happy, healed and whole. It's not just surgery that makes us grateful, although I know that I had to have uh, surgery on my nose. I've had quite a few surgeries. I guess some of you can relate to this and maybe some of you have never even been in the hospital before. Bless God for that. But if you ever have had uh, the inability to breathe well through your sinuses, um, I had to have sinus surgery about not long after I had the surgery on my throat. And so I know how uncomfortable it is not to be able to breathe well and um, I was a newlywed, new bride, and they had put a, a metal piece on my nose to hold my nose in place because they had to affect the bones when they did the surgery. And I had this pug nose, nothing wrong with pigs. We like little pigs and nothing wrong with people with have pug noses if you're born that way, but I wasn't born that way. And so I, I really did look kind of funny, to be honest with you, with this, my nose all stuck up. So, um, my poor husband, who I mentioned that we were newly married, he was afraid that his wife's face would suddenly be disfigured um, through no intention of anybody's. So um, I kept, kept my sinuses clean and got through that. They took the metal piece off. Uh, my nose looks okay. Um, but I'm very thankful for the ability to breathe in and out of my nose. How about you? I know I've got somebody that I love today that's having trouble with his sinuses and he just can't breathe well. How's your breathing right now? Can you take a breath in and breathe it out naturally, slowly, thankfully? How about other parts of your body? Are your feet comfortable? How about your legs? Are you laying down on a bed or sitting in a chair or listening to this in the car. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing right now, can you think of just one thing you're grateful for? I'm thankful because God gave us life itself and we are loved, so very loved by God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. I'm thankful for the church where I worship. I'm thankful for my husband who's been married decades and our son I have family and friends in my life if you feel that you are out there alone somehow maybe you're part of a community that's not really accepted 
or maybe you just feel lonely right now. I have a friend whose dad is, is in the hospital or was yesterday and her poor little dog's dying and her mom's not well. And you know, we come to stages in our life where things just don't seem to be going well. I've been there too. I'd ask you, even in the midst of pain and suffering to try and look up to heaven. You are the beloved of the God who made us all. You are the beloved. You are made in the image of God. I don't know what God looks like. Maybe you don't either. Maybe it's a bright, brilliant light. Wouldn't that be something to see God face to face? You know, Mo Moses, when he went to the burning bush, um, we read of this in the Old Testament, that he had to, had to cover his face because the light was so brilliant. And he went to a bush that burned but did not disintegrate. He was on holy ground. You and I right now are on holy ground because God made us and he loves us and we belong to him. Now for some folks that have been really hurt in life, they may find that really hard to believe. All I can do is offer to you my faith to tell you that it's not built on good circumstances or bad circumstances, wealth or poverty or sickness or health. It's just built on somehow knowing in my heart that God is good and he is holy and that he loves you very, very much. Let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for every person that is listening or watching right now. I thank you for their trials and tribulations only because they help us to grow stronger. I thank you that you will never leave nor forsake anyone. That you were with your son on the cross when he died, with his mother as she beheld her son, with her heart that was breaking we are beheld and loved. We are righteous and holy through the blood of Jesus Christ. Please, Lord, reach out to every soul that is hurting this day. Someone who may have lost a relative or relatives who's sick or suffering in some way. I ask you to bless those that are estranged from family and friends. I ask you to bless the sick and the dying. Bless the joyous, bless the hopeful, Bless those that are getting married today or sometime soon. Bless us when we give gratitude and help us when we forget to do so. The song says, praise God from whom all blessings flow. And Lord God, we praise you this day for we are fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. Lord God, we ask for your covering over this nation and all the nations of the world for peace, for hope, clarity for our leaders. Let us rest in peace this night, Lord God. For those who know war, bring peace, God. For those who know peace, let it spread. We thank you, we praise you, we love and adore you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, or those who may just start to believe, I sign you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you keep you, and thank you for tuning in to Spiritual Awakenings with Linda Menner.